Well, good morning and welcome to the Fish and Magician Outdoor Cooking Show. Today is my guest. Again, I have Eric Granstrom, and I always call on Eric because he is quite an expert in the outdoors. And for years, in fact, he just talked about a great week he had in the field. How much you with for that, his Dave? father. <laughs> yes. And I, I just love the fact that you've got to spend time with your father in the field yeah. as you have growing up. I know that uh, those days are limited. So the fact that I was able to spend a week with my dad out hunting and, and the fact that you invited me to come over and have some elk. Uh, <laughs> there yeah, you go. Twist my arm, Dave. Exactly. And so actually because we're talking about fall hunting season, we're actually our, our entree tonight is elk steak. Eric brought along some of the things he takes with him in the field because as he mentioned before, getting a good game meal starts not at the point of putting it on the grill, but in the field. Right, it really does. And and I wanted to just kind of go through what I take in the field with me because the, the point by going out and chasing after wild game is to harvest an animal. So are you prepared when it comes to that point when the harvest takes place? So I just thought I'd bring my fanny pack and kind of show some of the things that I take in the field with me that uh, some people might think not think about or if you're going to start hunting and start going a field for deer or elk which is our topic here today um, things to have with you so that your meat preservation can start as soon as the animal hits the ground there you go Let's so let me just to dive into the fanny pack here real quick and just some uh, topical things always to keep in mind when you go out in the field is to be prepared and of course the one thing that uh, the Grandstrom's always prepare for is having plenty of paper. Yes, for a lot of different reasons. <laughs> a lot of different reasons. Yes. <laughs> and we tend to take uh, paper toweling rather than toilet paper. Mm -hmm. Paper toweling, if you get a little wet, it'll still hold on to its uh, resiliency. Pa uh, toilet paper will just disappear. And, right. Uh, you don't want that to happen. So, lots of paper toweling. We shove that in the fanny pack. Uh, I'll go through a series of different knives that I carry with me, um, and I'll walk you through each of them. Um, I like to carry several knives for uh, many different purposes. When you get an animal down, um, the first part of dressing and field dressing the game is to remove the innards. Right. And what you want to have for that is a knife that you can use for exposing the entrails and then a separate knife if you have to quarter out the animal while it's on the ground. Separate. So you can be cutting the meat with a different knife than the one it is you use for removing the entrails. Great. Because you want to try to keep as, uh, I guess, uh, sanitarily uh, confined area as possible. Um, there's different ways you can do about that too. If you don't want to carry all this in your bag, um, I've got some tips for you that you can use with that as well. But uh, the most uh, popular knife, or one of the most popular knives, is a multi knife. This is made by Kershaw. And actually, oh, yes. I have uh, three different blades uh, for this knife. It's got uh, the regular blade here that the handle just swings away, lifts out. And I don't know if you have Kershaw as a sponsor, but uh, you know, Kershaw, if you want to send us some money, we'll take it. Um, I also have, and this is when it comes to field dressing, the knife blade I'll use. Uh, it has the, the gutting portion of the knife right here and the skinning portion of the knife right here. Um, very quick, easy. This will slice right through the hide and this part is dull right here. It's sharp inside so as you start to peel this, the hide back to get to the entrails inside the animal it won't cut the gut bag. Gotcha. And that's the thing that you want to try not to do when you're field dressing your game. So I'll take these knives with me all the time. These are always in my fanny pack. I'll also take a secondary knife that I'll use um, for reaching down inside the entrails to remove it from the body cavity. Gotcha. You'd, you'd like to have a smaller knife for that with deer or elk so you can hang on to it, keep a hold on it, but not have it be so cumbersome when you reach inside the animal to make a cut uh -huh. that you might nick the gut bag, which you don't want to do either. Now sometimes, uh, the you know, if it's a poor shot, uh, if you're archery hunting or you're rifle hunting, whatever the case may be, you may get a shot that actually punctures the gut bag. It's sure. okay. You have not ruined a thing with the meat because there is a protective sheen inside the body cavity that keeps it away from the meat anyway. Right. Now, if you only want to carry one knife with you, one of the best things I found is with kids, uh, the wet knives. 
So uh, antibacterial wet nap, you just carry this, throw that in your bag, open it up. When you start to do the uh, uh, field dressing of the animal, if you only have that one knife, you just you grab the wet knife, it. you can sanitize it right there on the spot. Um, I also will carry a knife sharpener with me so I can get the, uh, you know, You've the got knife a couple of those great in our knife sharp. Drawer. And then also one thing I do, even if you're hunting with other parties, um, you're going to be alone for the first however much time it is, so you better start the process of getting that job done to field dress the animal. I always carry a rope with me because that is an extra hand when you don't have one available. So just a few extra things you can throw in the pack with you that I take with me all the time to prepare to take care of that game meat before you ever get it home. Absolutely. Those are all good points because quality starts in the field. We do the same thing with fish. We always make sure that we get get them on ice as quickly as possible because it makes a huge difference when it's time to get it ready for the pan. Hooked on Toys! If you enjoy preparing your fishing game, Hooked on Toys has everything you need to do it right. From vacuum sealers to smokers and all the seasonings and chips to go with them, you won't believe the variety of what Hooked on Toys has to offer the outdoor chef. They have an amazing selection of outdoor cookware too. Dutch ovens to camp stoves, camp tables, cookware to treat your family and friends to outdoor cooking at its best. It's all at Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys! Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do. Commercial business use, home heating, water heating, pool and spa heating, clothes drying, fuel for kitchen stoves, and of course, grilling. Propane is extremely affordable, clean burning, and extremely efficient. For a location near you, check your local yellow pages or visit us at Amerigas.com. Enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery, flexible payment options, and customer referral awards. Amerigas, America's propane company. Reliable, safe, and responsive. You are not going to believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on Wenatchee Avenue was so popular, Mike was the first business to be invited to appear in the new Pibus Market on Worthen Street. Mike's is known for the best quality in beef, pork, chicken, and other meats, and now has added fresh seafood. You won't find this kind of good old-fashioned butcher quality and service anywhere else. Fresh produce is in season, too. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market brings the farm and ranch to you. Okay, now we actually have elk steak thanks to our friends in Anaconda, Montana. Yeah, I was going to say, where'd this come from, Dave? Yes, that was a great gift. In fact, they caught me because I was unloading their freezer and <laughs> <laughs> he said, wait a minute now, you're taking away too much. Yeah. But they were very generous and this nice platter of elk steak is thanks to them. And well, so this is beautiful. To we get, we got to show that to the camera. And one thing that people will find that aren't familiar with game meat much is the color differential between this and between beef. Mm -hmm. um, and, and some people might say, geez, I don't like game meat because it tastes gamey. Well, one of the keys you can do to remove that gamey flavor is this right here. Unlike with beef, you don't want to have a lot of fat on there. And so this little section right here will can not contaminate, but it can flavor the entire pan there full of meat. Okay. So all you got to do is just really quickly just cut that little section off and uh, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So then we are done and that's a way and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Just go through when you unwrap the meat and you thaw it out if it's been in the freezer. Just take a quick look at that. 
cut those extra little slices off and then they're gone you don't have to worry about it one thing too uh, game meat is very very lean so you have to cook with oil you have to cook with butter whatever the case you might have in camp when you go to throw that in the more than you usually would absolutely yeah. Absolutely. So I'll toss that away. Um, real quick, easy preparation. If you're doing this on the tailgate, if you're doing this uh, even at home, right. as far as elk steak is concerned, um, we'll take a little meat tenderizer and we'll toss that across the surface of the meat real quick. I'll use usually a little bit more than that. And then you just take a fork and you start stabbing. Mm -hmm. And you just stab that in there real quick. I was surprised when I was uh, getting this rinsed and ready for you how tender. Oh yeah, yeah. This this is this is really a good cut right here. I can tell right away. So maybe a lot of these steps aren't necessary, um, but it never hurts to do it. Oh no. So and I'll do this um, maybe a half hour or so before I actually uh, prepare the meat on the on the grill. Sure. Um, so once you've done that, uh, I will use either a plate or I'll take a plastic Ziploc bag and I will really lightly coat the meat in regular flour and then with the oil already in the pan and we've got some virgin olive oil here is toss that in the pan and you let that start to sear and again these are pretty thin cuts so low temperature and it won't take very long for us to have this meat ready to go and so Dave Tell us what else we're going to have with this elk steak here today. As a matter of fact, you know, with this fall theme, I picked out three different colors of peppers. And so we've got a nice variegated color to add to our plate here. And I'm just going to put these in a little bit of olive oil and butter and get these nicely caramelized along with some Bermuda onion in three different colors. It'll make for a nice pretty plate. Now I'm going to get this going on this burner. And again with our olive oil. And I'll add some butter to this too. But at least a little bit of olive oil because it never hurts because that will keep the butter from browning. Mm -hmm. It's always good to have a little bit of that in there too. So I'll add a little bit of butter to that. And some nice crunchy pepper. should be a nice accompaniment to this pepper. One thing, uh, once I get the uh, elk started a little bit, I'll add a little bit of ground pepper to it. Uh -huh. While it's cooking, give it a chance to work into the meat a little bit. And then a little bit of salt as well. Um, again, just to flavor, not to cover. What's what you don't want to do when you're serving wild game. Absolutely. You know, and I think, as you mentioned earlier, these are a nice thin cut, and I think that was the intent when my friend also prepares his game meat. Because the longer game cooks, the gameier it gets. That's right, that's right. So the thinner the cut, and if you cut and wrap it yourself, or if you have it done uh, by a professional company, uh, you know, they do a fantastic job, and there's a lot of uh, folks you can find just by looking in the phone book or on the online real quick. Uh, before you even head to where you're going. If you're hunting out of state, for example, we always look up online to find what type of processing is available where we're at, especially when you start talking about game animals in, in western states other than the state of Washington. You have to think about chronic wasting disease and how you don't want to bring that back to Washington state. They have uh, laws now in place where you have to leave the head, um, you have to remove the antlers and things like that. So game processing, a lot of times when you're out of state, it's easier done on location. You bring back the packaged meat, and also the women like that too because you just throw in the freezer. There you go. I like that. Well, now we've got an elk searing. I've got those nice peppers going, and uh, we'll finish those off. And I even have another dish to go along with this, and we'll start in that. One. Okay.
Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on Wenatchee Avenue was so popular, Mike was the first business to be invited to appear in the new Pibus Market on Worthen Street. Mike's is known for the best quality in beef, pork, chicken, and other meats, and now has added fresh seafood. You won't find this kind of good old-fashioned butcher quality and service anywhere else. Fresh produce is in season, too. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market brings the farm and ranch to you. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do commercial business use home heating water heating pool and spa heating clothes drying fuel for kitchen stoves and of course grilling propane is extremely affordable clean burning and extremely efficient for a location near you check your local yellow pages or visit us at amerigas.com enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery flexible payment options and customer referral awards amerigas america's propane company reliable safe and responsive you are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi next. What's Pepsi next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste, 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are gonna fly. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi next. next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Hooked on toys! If you enjoy preparing your fishing game, Hooked on Toys has everything you need to do it right. From vacuum sealers to smokers and all the seasonings and chips to go with them, you won't believe the variety of what Hooked on Toys has to offer the outdoor chef. They have an amazing selection of outdoor cookware too. Dutch ovens to camp stoves, camp tables, cookware to treat your family and friends to outdoor cooking at its best. It's all at Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys! Well, now I mentioned I had another dish up my sleeve for this sumptuous... You've been very secretive about this, game. I have been. Now, what I've got is, this is just a good old Alfredo sauce. Okay. And, you know, we're always doing the, the shortcut, simple way right. that, you know, you can show up with your cooler and prepare all of this. Right. Or carry it to a friend's home or whatever. So this is just a good old package Alfredo sauce that you'll find at the local store. But, <laughs> I'm going to add, I just, you can sample that Thank while you. I'm uh, putting this in. This is smoked salmon that I just finished here mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to add these crumbled smoked salmon bits. To the Alfredo sauce. Into the Alfredo sauce create something a little different, and again, uh, with our fall theme, uh -huh. I have multicolored pasta that I'm going to mix in there too. And so that's so going the to... the pasta's already been cooked. It's already cooked. Okay. It's just in a bag. You know, that's something uh, our good friend Richard that we've featured on our show before has shown me. And this really travels well if, if you add some olive oil to this, then it stays nice and separate. And it won't stick together. And so all we have to do is again, we're just flavoring the Alfredo sauce with a little bit of that smoked salmon, and then I'm going to add our pasta in there just to get it rewarmed and coated with the sauce. And we have our last side dish. I'm always thinking of something. Got to come up with something new, you know. And I think, well, I haven't really lost yet, but we'll see. <laughs> there might be a dinger in here somewhere, but I think we're doing pretty good tonight. Well, we should mention too, Dave, that uh, I know you've done uh, uh, different cooking recipes for uh, your smoked salmon, for example. Uh, uh, so yeah. people can check online and they can get those past episodes. And if you want to see how that's done and see how this is can be so good, yeah. then uh, be able to check that out online as well. That's right. And we will be featuring smoked salmon uh, done by a couple of different people this year on, on the show. 
because everybody does it a little differently, you know. We'll just let that little cook away and just get warmed up. And we've set aside our elk and that's staying warm. And my goodness, I think we're getting really close to the best part of the show. The eating! That's it. <laughs> In any minute now, I think we're going to have everything ready and we're going to be able to set up a plate and sample what we've done. Amerigas is the nation's largest supplier of propane and propane equipment. With over 650 locations all across the country, you can sleep easy knowing Amerigas is right there to serve you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Are you building or buying a home? Ask your builder to make it propane. Make it Amerigas. Learn more about the outstanding fixed pricing and affordable budget payment programs offered by Amerigas. Log on to Amerigas.com. Amerigas, America's propane company, has a shopping list of all the things their product propane can do commercial business use home heating water heating pool and spa heating clothes drying fuel for kitchen stoves and of course grilling propane is extremely affordable clean burning and extremely efficient for a location near you check your local yellow pages or visit us at amerigas.com enjoy benefits such as automatic delivery flexible payment options and customer referral awards amerigas america's propane company reliable safe and responsive you are not gonna believe this. I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. <laughs> my parents are gonna fly. Yeah, they're gonna be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. Hooked on toys! If you enjoy preparing your fishing game, Hooked on Toys has everything you need to do it right. From vacuum sealers to smokers and all the seasonings and chips to go with them, you won't believe the variety of what Hooked on Toys has to offer the outdoor chef. They have an amazing selection of outdoor cookware too. Dutch ovens to camp stoves, camp tables, cookware to treat your family and friends to outdoor cooking at its best. It's all at Hooked on Toys, 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue, Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys! Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market on Wenatchee Avenue was so popular, Mike was the first business to be invited to appear in the new Pibus Market on Worthen Street. Mike's is known for the best quality in beef, pork, chicken, and other meats, and now has added fresh seafood. You won't find this kind of good old-fashioned butcher quality and service anywhere else. Fresh produce is in season, too. Mike's Meat and Farmer's Market brings the farm and ranch to you. Well, Eric, as I mentioned earlier, this is the good part. Yeah, this looks fantastic, Dave. Uh, I'm telling you, every time I come on your show, it, it's always the best looking camp meal I've ever had. You know, we, we <laughs> tend to just throw things in the pan and we're cooking by dark and never really care what it looks like, but what it tastes like. Yes. You've been able to, to complement both with the, the peppers for the color, the different colored noodles. Um, in fact, I, I can't wait, Dave. I gotta try That's the noodles with that uh, smoked Absolutely. salmon in there and the Alfredo sauce. Let's see, you know, this is one of my experiments again, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> see, that's a different twist on that. And that smoke that you have on that salmon is just, it's not overdone, it's just a hint of oh, the smoke my. in there. That did turn out. Mm -hmm. Very fantastic. Nice. All right, very nice. So let's try the elk now. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when I eat with the kids, they always talk about the perfect bite. And they usually will stab part of the noodle, they'll stab part of the meat, they'll oh. stab part of the pepper, throw it all in there yes. at one time. That's the perfect one. Mmm. <laughs> this is outstanding elk. I do have to thank my friend Ed because he's a consummate sportsman. Mm -hmm. Taking care of his game is absolutely paramount with him. So does he so cut and wrap it himself? He does. Okay. He even yeah. makes his own sausage, has his own grinder. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. See, and that's almost like uh, people that, that brew their own home beers. I mean, it becomes an art form that you can enjoy, um, aside from the hunt, the harvest, and then the preparation, and now we get to eat it. So, yeah. Thanks to Ed. So, yes, thank you, Ed. And one thing we should mention, too, if people are a little leery about trying wild game meat, there are steps that you can try. Um, if you're used to beef and you're afraid to step into some other realm, I would suggest that you try antelope first because antelope is 
very, very, uh, it doesn't have a game taste at all. In fact, it tastes like beef. Um, the texture is fantastic, very similar to beef. And then you can graduate to elk, and then from elk you can go to deer, and then bear, and cougar, and oh, let's go, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> You're very adventurous. Oh, I, I like the fact that you included the apple slice as well. Um, is this a uh, Fuji? What do we have here? Oh yes, okay. Fuji's are my favorite. And See, that helps cleanse the palate after you try a little of the Alfredo sauce, and the steak. It was your stuff. recommendation too for these caramelized onions, mm -hmm. and then I took it the next step mm -hmm. with the peppers and all that. And this is a nice accompaniment. You can't go wrong. Thanks for having me, Dave. I mean, anytime you want me to come and eat, I'm happy to do so. Well, it's always a pleasure to have you working on our grill or camp stove too. <laughs> You're a real pro. And thanks again for joining us. And uh, I'll see what I can cook up for next time.